doors are locked and we are docked. Captain, greetings. Welcome aboard the UC Vigilance. Did you have any questions before I escort you to the Commander? Understood? If you'd follow me, please. So, you're the vanguard that took down that Terramorph on Tau City. You've made quite an impression around here. Everyone upstairs is talking about it. Damn. That must have been one hell of a firefight. I almost regret missing out on all the fun. Of course, we don't normally see that kind of action on the Vigilance, but we have our moments. All right, Vanguard. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Akande should be waiting for you. Good luck. Hello? Yes? Ah, there you are. Commander Kibwe Kande, UC Sistev. Glad to have you aboard. I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about Commander Tuala's offer. Excellent. Then let's get right to it, shall we? This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sistev's nerve center, dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look. Before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sistef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. Dismissed. Yes, what? All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. That's what I told Commander Akande. 
but he insisted. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. We'll be here if you need us. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? All I'm going to point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and, uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Can't believe we're still pulling up huge mineral deposits after all this time. Ava! Sit down, have a drink. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sidonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Right down to business! And no small talk. I like it. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blamed him. Either way, I want that money back. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Peace be with you. Twenty years ago, I moved to Sidonia on a whim. Something I can help you with? Hey, slow down. I don't even know what you're talking about. Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. 
Uh, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Sure, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. I really hope so. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Something for me? Well, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh. And I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. 